everybody. Welcome to episode two of Air Pollution TV. My name is Amrit. Uh, let's talk about air pollution real quick. Uh, today, I want to focus on London and the mayor of London, Mr. Sadiq Khan. Um, I don't know if you know, saw the story in the news today, but uh, the mayor of London uh, is asking broadcasters, so radio and TV broadcasters, to include air quality reports alongside their weather reports. Like we've all seen the, the weather reports on television where they said the weather today uh, across the country and in the cities are going to be, this is the weather, this, this is the temperature, this is the um, rainfall. But uh, the mayor of London is asking broadcasters to also include air quality updates and, and the health advisories that go along with it. Uh, and I think that's a brilliant idea. And it's just the beginning of this becoming the norm across not just the UK, but around the world. So good on you, Sadiq Khan. Uh, this is a brilliant idea, and thank you for actually putting going through with it. Um, and it's getting a lot of press coverage in Huffington Post and a lot of other UK publications as well. Uh, and I hope to see a lot more people um, adopting this approach across the world. And over here, as you can see, um, air pollution is responsible for 40,000 early deaths every year. And I believe that is in across the UK about 9,000 London, Londoners and 40,000 people across the UK die earlier um, than they should because of harm, harmful particles and gases in the air. So yeah, um, good job, Sadiq Khan. And also one more thing, uh, this isn't the first time Sadiq Khan has talked about air pollution or air quality. If you search through his Twitter feed, you can see consistently that he has been a, a vocal proponent of increasing air pollution awareness and uh, actually taking steps to increase and improve the city's uh, air quality levels. So just scrolling through his Twitter feed, he's, he's a big pro proponent of making sure the air quality levels at schools across London, um, they go through their, the audits and make sure that the children are safe because that's one of the most uh, vulnerable groups um, of, of air pollution. Um, the health effects for children are just way higher than um, adults as well. Um, yeah, so just good on you for making sure this has been a, a big part of your uh, mayorship uh, in the, is that is that a word, mayorship? I, I think it is, it is now. Uh, so yeah, so this is a great job and thank you for tackling air, air quality. Um, and yeah, now let's switch over to the air pollution map. This is the emoji air pollution map that we talked about yesterday as well. So this is the, the United Kingdom. You got Ireland down here and the rest of continental Europe. Uh, let's dig on down into London to see what air quality is like right now. All right. Waiting. There we go. I think the Wi-Fi and internet speeds are faster in London. I'm in New Delhi right now. Not the best speeds. Um, so here we go. So we've got um, a ton of air quality stations that are reporting data. So you, all these emojis you see are official government air quality monitoring stations um, that are providing data to us. So, and as you, a lot of smiley faces, heart, eyes, all that means is that air quality levels are pretty good. Um, and if you look at the scale on the top left, the heart, eyes, sunglasses, and the smiley face all represent um, the best air quality range. Um, you don't wanna be down here where the poor guy is puking or the air quality gets much worse there. So air quality levels, according to what's being measured at the um, air quality station, is pretty good. Um, and one more thing I want to point out to you, there are a couple of fires that are that the NASA satellites have detected around London in the last 24 hours. And if you zoom out and look at the other parts of this map, um, every single fire that you see on this map is only from the last 24 hours. Uh, I get this question a lot over the last few days because there are a lot more fires than you would expect. Um, around the world. Um, so, and if you're in London, you can zoom in on these fires and um, and take a look at what the, what the sources are. Is it a wildfire from a forest on fire? Is it uh, a factory that uh, is emitting way too much uh, pollution? Or maybe it, it, there's a fire on the ground? Um, you can check it out just by zooming into these fires. But let's look at, let's zoom into the city real quick. So this is London. And so, and even though this is one, one nuanced point that I want to make sure we get across, because the air quality stations all are reporting good levels of air quality. However, that doesn't necessarily mean that your exposure to air pollution is going to be low. 
because if you're on the ground walking across London and there are a lot of cars around, um, your air pollution uh, exposure will be much greater than these monitors which are on top of buildings uh, across, across the city. So as you can see here, this is a traffic congestion data from Google Maps in, in London um, as I just zoomed in. So any street where you see red, that is congested traffic. So obviously, if, if cars are stalling and just in stop and go traffic or have heavy traffic conditions, that just means uh, there are more emissions concentrated there. And it just makes sense that your, your exposure to air pollutants in those areas will be higher. And relatively, um, the green conditions, there's less congestion or no congestion. Um, so air quality in the immediate time is, uh, is better. And by the way, this traffic data is real time. So as soon as Google updates uh, every, sometimes every few seconds, every few minutes, um, this map will reflect the real time traffic conditions on the ground. Yeah, so that's really, yeah, that's, uh, that's London, right? That's pretty quick, get a sense of what the air quality levels are, some fire sources. Uh, and we can, let's just zoom out a little bit and see some other parts of the UK. Um, maybe you can zoom into a fire or other cities. Fires up here. Let's go up to Scotland, Edinburgh. Air quality still is pretty good, all in the good range. Also in Northern Ireland, there's a fire here, a couple of fires there. Limerick, well, let's zoom into Limerick, why not? Here we are, Limerick, Ireland. Um, and this is what I would do myself if, if I'm looking at whatever city I'm in at the moment. And if I see a, a fire on the ground, this is one of the most useful features of this map is it lets you explore uh, what is happening on the ground around you. So in Limerick, let's see, is, it, is this a wildfire? Is it a brick factory? Is it another kind of factory or is it crop burning? Let's figure it out. What is this? Uh, definitely looks like uh, probably a, a large farm. Oh, and then I'm not sure when this satellite image was taken. This just looks like uh, a small or maybe large, I don't know, um, fire at the farm over there. Um, maybe an accident, maybe intentionally burning um, some, some things around there. So yeah, um, not very conclusive there. Sometimes when you're looking into fires in India, you can definitely tell this is coming from this factory or a, a particular landfill or a, a brick clin. Um, so, or, or maybe just wildfires. So that's really, um, it's a nifty tool to, to investigate um, where the high sources of pollution are coming from. All right, um, and if you haven't yet, please subscribe, uh, link right down below. And also I'll include other description, other links uh, to the website and, and how you can get a hold of me in the description below. Um, if you have any questions, feel free to give me a shout out um, on Twitter or in the comment sections below. I'd be happy to ask you answer any questions for you. And in case I don't know what you, what the answers are, uh, we're gonna find out together, and then I'll get back to you uh, uh, about what it is. So that's my time. Thank you so much. Um, subscribe below, and um, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.